erectile dysfunction is uh, inability uh, of uh, the individual to have a, an erection. Uh, the uh, erectile dysfunction is a fairly common problem and uh, it uh, can start as early as 40 years of age. Uh, the uh, most common causes of erectile dysfunction are uh, peripheral vascular disease, diabetes, but sometimes also uh, performance anxiety in a new relationship, post-surgical uh, uh, causes of erectile dysfunction, especially after pelvic surgery. The first step in treating ED is looking, uh, looking holistically after the individual. Uh, we are looking at the general health of the individual, um, is there a possibility that the patient has got uh, diabetes and, uh, and then uh, we can identify that and, and possibly treat that? Uh, is there a possibility that the patient has got peripheral vascular disease and uh, again uh, address those issues for peripheral vascular disease or ischemic heart disease um, and uh, check the cholesterol, um, control the diabetes, uh, try and lose some weight um, and uh, we're looking at uh, the general improvement of general health uh, of the patient. Once we've addressed the issues of the general uh, health of the patient, uh, we're looking at then uh, medical treatment uh, for the erectile dysfunction. And in terms of the medical treatment, uh, uh, the uh, PDE5 inhibitors are the most common uh, uh, treatments used uh, in regards to ED. From the tablet point of view, uh, that would be the treatment. Uh, the next step in the treatment of the ED would be um, looking at uh, penile injections and that is a, a very effective way of treating ED. However, there are problems with the uh, penile injections in terms of uh, the uh, possible side effects that they can cause and also uh, the um, sometimes the mental hurdle that, uh, that the patient has to overcome to be able to start injecting into the penis. In terms of other devices that we can use for ED uh, is a vacuum pump device. As you can see here, this is one type of vacuum pump device that we can use. This particular way of, of, uh, of having an erection, uh, you, you would need to stop uh, the erection after half an hour. Uh, and also, uh, the other thing that uh, you need to be aware of is that it can cause a bit of um, bleeding at the tip of the penis, sometimes a bit of bruising. Hence, longer term, a lot of patients also end up with uh, discontinuing uh, the vacuum pump device as a treatment option uh, since it is, not, it is much more artificial and uh, it does not feel like a natural erection. It's, uh, and a much more permanent solution in terms of uh, dealing with the erectile dysfunction would be an uh, in, in inflatable penile prosthesis. Uh, the inflatable penile prosthesis by Titan uh, would... Uh, is, is certainly a, a, a new prosthetic device that is being uh, developed. It is a very good uh, prosthesis uh, and it's very durable. It's a much better uh, erection that uh, patients get and the satisfaction uh, from, the, uh, for, from, from an inflatable penile prosthesis is 95% to 98%. That is in, uh, the patient and the partner uh, satisfaction rate. The uh, inflatable penile prosthetic device is a very safe uh, procedure. Uh, it is done as, a, as an overnight uh, stay in hospital uh, and uh, it is a very safe procedure. The uh, major complication rate uh, is uh, very low. Uh, there is less than 1% chance of having an infection of the device uh, which is, uh, as I mentioned, a very low risk and it uh, hence makes it a very safe device to use. I'm going to show you now how uh, we uh, do insert the, the device. Uh, the device is basically inserted through a small incision uh, which is uh, performed uh, just under the pubic bone. Um, this is the uh, part of the device that goes inside the uh, penile shaft. Uh, this is the part of the device that goes inside the scrotum. And this is part of the device that goes is inserted uh, next to the bladder. When we do this uh, and uh, when we do the um, cycling of the device and when, we, when the patient wants to have an erection, he presses into the scrotal pump. So this is now a fairly firm erection. Um, the reservoir is deflated because the fluid now from the reservoir has gone inside 
the uh, penile shaft um, and the uh, patient has got a full erection happening. Um, once the uh, intercourse has been completed, the patient has to only press once into the side of the device and uh, the device will uh, deflate by itself or if you want to uh, get the device to deflate quicker you just press on the penis like that and you can see here the reservoir is filling now with water and basically it goes back to a normal position so it's a fairly natural after the reservoir has been deflated uh, you get a very, very natural looking penis um, and uh, in a normal uh, flaccid state. When we talk about uh, inflatable penile uh, device, it is a much more spontaneous erection than, uh, than you would get with, with the injections uh, or um, with the vacuum pump devices. Uh, the patient, uh, when uh, he feels that he wants to have intercourse, he does not have to um, uh, insert injections into the penis. He doesn't have to use the vacuum pump like we mentioned before uh, with getting all the blood going into the penis, getting a blue penis happening and also having the ring around uh, the penis. Um, and also in fact even if you're looking at uh, uh, tablets like Viagra or Cialis, uh, it, the, in terms of spontaneity uh, I mean often uh, you can't get the erection when you actually want it even with the tablets. Uh, so in terms of patients uh, wanting to have the erection straight away and uh, at a particular time with uh, the possibility of the uh, erection not happening uh, would be much higher with other forms of uh, devices than with a penile prosthesis because this would be a and uh, at the erection at will. Erectile dysfunction is a common problem. If you do have a problem with erectile dysfunction, there are solutions to the problem which can be short-term or long-term solutions. Um, if, the, if the problem however is more long-term there are solutions for the long-term problem with erectile dysfunction. The most reliable solution would be an insertion of a Titan inflatable penile prosthesis. Talk to your doctor about the problem and then the next step would be a uh, referral to a urologist that has got a special interest in erectile dysfunction uh, and has got the expertise in uh, performing a minimally invasive uh, surgical procedure for inflatable penile pump devices.